What is up, you guys? FSC Trucking. Oh, listen to my voice crack like a teenager. <laughs> anyway, we're over here in Springfield, Massachusetts. Earlier, I dropped off that tra trailer mounted generator. Uh oh. Oh, the hotel's missing. Say, where's the truck stop? The hotel's gone. There's a hotel right over there. I was like, uh oh, I thought they took the truck stop away. I need fuel. So that's bad if I can't get fuel. Oh, little pride am best deal here. Oh lord, they're out on the road. Trucks next entrance. Okay, well. From here. They're pulling on in from here. Anyway, so yeah, we dropped off that generator this morning. Now we're on our way to Connecticut to go get our next load. A uh, tank, some kind of tank. That'd be a trailer or a truck body, I'm not sure. It's going to Menominee, Michigan. So once we get fuel, we'll pick that up and get on down the line. Walking inside, they let me do it there. Weird. I used the right pump, not that one. The satellite pump right there. Right there. <laughs> Can't see. And I'll use this pump here. Use the satellite. Lucky 13. Alright, now we're flowing in good. Look at that. You will make the world go round. Get boys and girls, diesel's two dollars a gallon more than gasoline. Sad fact is, diesel moves the economy, gas only moves your ass.
be here a little while. Apparently this side's a lot slower. Alright, now here's a good question for you. Will it let me do more than a thousand gallons? I mean a thousand dollars. Thousand gallons, that'd be nice. No. The answer is no. Well, I'm not doing it twice. I'm not doing it twice. You can't turn your crap on for more than five hundred and you know, nine hundred dollars. Well, I don't need fuel. I'll buy it somewhere else. You short sell yourself when you do that crap truck stop. That card's good for a lot more than that. If you cut me off at 990, I'll just go to the next one. F it. Getting annoying. Now I know how that railing in the back there got pulled out. The driver's having to do this kind of funky style. Spin it around, deal. This is a dumb, 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 dumb setup for a truck stop. Holy crap, look at this crap show getting out of here. That car went away from me, but look at this fiasco. Yikes! Uh, traffic to my right coming. up out to the road to get fuel there. Yeah, we were on the Massachusetts Turnpike. That's this highway right here. We're not going to run it now. We're going to take 91 down in Connecticut. Well, we got to take 291 down to 91 and then down. 515 a gallon, which scary to say is actually not bad for Massachusetts. Or New England for that matter. But still too damn high.
right there. It's only a matter of time where they tear it down. I don't find beauty in old buildings like that. back in the days when you know you got up you went to work you worked in that warehouse and you were able to take care of your family off what you made at that warehouse back when times were simpler at least they seemed that way you ever see to wonder about that time you know think about time how it pertains to you and your life. It just depends on how old you are. Like, I'm 45 years old now, so. Five forty-nine for being still there? Wow, I wonder why there's a line over the other place. Holy oh, smokes. But no, you think about it, like, like, I mean, like, well, look at this truck, right? What was, what was it like? I often wondered, what was it like in 1984 when you stepped in a brand new Peterbilt 362? When Orwell was brand new and not a mile on the odometer. I mean, I was alive then, I was a kid, but professionally as a truck driver, what was it like? Like, how did you get fuel? Swipe your Com Data card, did you? What did they have in those days? Their drivers always run around carrying cash to put fuel, and they settled up with the office when they got back. I, I wonder, you know. I'd have to look up what was the national average price of diesel in 1984. I'd have to look that up. I'm curious. I bet you'd fill a whole truck for a hundred bucks, maybe. Now it's a thousand dollars. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like driving, the, you know, a '84 model truck. Cause yet here I am doing it. But what was the rest of the industry like? You know, like my dad, he would tell me stories when he was a kid thinking about the railroad tracks right there, right? Um, thinking about what it was like in his day. I did a really cool old video. Look up the Pine Ridge Colliery video I did back before the trucking channel had taken off. Um, but yeah, that was on this channel right here, way back. But yeah, my dad used to talk about like Coming down the hill, he used to call Slopaz Hill, walking back from school. The train be waiting because that way it didn't block up a lot of the crossings. The trains, the railroads tried to keep the streets open about when school let in or let out. But my daddy say, you didn't have a lot of time. You know, if you dilly dally coming out of uh, coming out of school, you uh, you be waiting for a train for a while, getting the whole coal train moving in the hills of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. You'd be waiting a while. And I don't know if they were double head or if they had a another engine in the back, but he told me it. Wheel slippage was a common thing. take a ride on a steam train back in the day that's all they had think about that i always thought that kind of stuff's cool but yeah what was it like 
know, when they built that warehouse, it was like working there. What was it like when they shut it down? Did they ship the jobs overseas or to a freer state in, in Ramya? I wonder. Connecticut welcomes you, says Ned Lamont, the governor of Connecticut. He welcomes us. Imagine that. Out-of-state firewood regulated, permit required, yeah. Welcomes me, just not the firewood. That's right. It's not firewood, it's pre-treated, pre-milled lumber. <laughs> there you go. Try that one. You guys are running out west. I've been seeing that for years now. I'm surprised the public puts up with it, but they're not as hard on it as they are as those drivers. You know, you gotta go in and out of states, you gotta report of entries and stuff, and all your way stations out west, and all of that nonsense. But you go out west, up through like South Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Washington State, up there. They're your watercraft inspection areas. That's for people that you know, the, the one or two people that make it all the way across there with their boat to go boating. They feel they need to inspect your bilges, whether it's kayaks or a 27-foot sea ray. It's, it's amazing that they pull that crap off. You think that's going to create a massive trouble? Just, I don't know. I was just thinking about that busted chops about how Connecticut welcomes you, but yeah, not really. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Connecticut, I think that's how you pronounce it. M E R I D E I A N. SGMC style side right there. Not by seeing it though. Industrial to new apartments. They need it really industrial again. The railroad right behind all this. The commuter line. Meriden Station commuter parking. That commuter rail over there, I guess. I doubt it's heavy freight. Gotta go straight and meander left and then right. Mm-hmm. 
sitting right against that fence right there. Couldn't see what it was. Under that railroad. Trailer make it. The truck home. Trying to make a bet. Yeah, there ain't no grade cross over there. So the reason for the low bridge is that railroad. And we should be alright. Snake our way this way. Not around this side of the tracks. Gotta pay attention to that stuff. You know, nowadays you can't call these people and say, hey, how do you get to, you know, I'm, I'm coming to pick, I remember years ago I used to do that. I used to go to a place and call them on a calling card from a pay phone. They're like, hey, I'm Steve Festcheck, driver so-and-so, YPO. How do we, uh, I need directions to you. And they would know how to get there. Well, not no more. Of using a Google Maps style GPS, they better know something. Pay attention. That's where we need to be. It's right over there. Well, we can't get there from here. Gotta go there first. Painful, you can see it. Well, one of those places where it's like I've never been there before, like literally ever. What's got me concerned is this ridiculous turn up here. From the first look, first glance, don't look that bad. However, I 
know where we're going is before the bridge. If not, then uh, put in reverse and back up all the way back to the light back there. Smell it. it. Smells so nice. Bridge clearance, ten foot nine. That's, that's probably like here. Spin it in the cul-de-sac and back in at our yard. Alrighty, we're gonna spin it around in a cul-de-sac and we're gonna back into his lot. icing oh watch that trailer twist probably should put the axles in drop it twist too
one or two. Oh, look at this guy with a GoPro and everything. Shit. Yeah. I keep my little jumper wire out. Yank the. Got a bunch of ground somewhere in here underneath the trailer where I can't crawl under it and fix it. <laughs> so I gotta wait till I get home. Will that fit without me moving as you think or no? 20 feet or 18 feet, it might be, yeah. I could give it a shot. If I have to, I'll just move it there. Just put the nose down and worst case, I'll have to put the ramps down. Yeah, I still want the tail to bottom into the trailer. I should be good. Golden. Straighten them out. Straighten them out, bring the ass to me. Keep coming. All right, bring it in. I watch your tiller, you know, Bob, there you go. Bring it in. I right, hold it there. Gonna go forward. Oh, kick it. Would you back up? Bring it this way a little. I'm trying to center right on that, on that V, the trailer, if you could see it. There you go. Back up, just bring it, no, bring it that way. You forward it backwards. Come this way here. Keep coming. Good right there. Bring it a little. Really good. All right. Now set them down. Is now. Good deal. That's the fucking easiest. I don't want to say. Haha. <laughs> Yep. Not like I've never had that happen. Happens on the regular. Good news is, for guys like you, I put things like these on. I ain't even gonna scratch them. I'm gonna strap them from the under. Okay. It's your world, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I always say this, it's like, my response is to get it on the trailer after that. Well, I got to tie it down or I can't even hook up or that's yeah. just gonna go for a ride. Yeah. So I'm gonna strap that down and then uh, me and Tommy get the paperwork. Okay. And I'll be out of your hair as quick as I get, got in it. Hell yeah. Get some Jersey straps to be done.
got that guy tucked in the back pretty good, don't they? Just flip me off. <laughs> 